we have waited forever and now we're finally here for an Espa comeback. I have, I'm in my finals week, so I have a lot of work to do. So I'm going to try to keep this short. <laughs> but yeah, we all know basically that like SM is questionable with the treatment of their artists. In the past couple of years, I feel like it's gotten worse and they've kind of like also lost their identity a bit. I don't know. Like, it, I don't know. They've been, you know, I don't know. Eh. Anyways, um, other than that, the treatment of Espa is just so weird because they were so, they were received so well, which is like, I mean, it, even outside of the controversy of their debut, which I love Black Mamba. I think Black Mamba is such a good debut. Um, I like their other songs as well, but there's something about Black Mamba. Like, I don't know. There's something about her. Um, I also like Yuppie Yuppie. That's my favorite. That's like my favorite Espa song. Um, their first little mini was good. It was good. Mm -hmm. They're really great vocalists as expected from SM. They came in with this AI concept. Um, and they haven't really been doing much with it because they haven't really been doing much with Espa in general. Um, like I said, I don't really understand like what they're doing with them. I get they're trying to like make them popular in the US. So with like whatever but they just sometimes they do anything with them that's what i'm trying to say and it sucks because they're so talented and i feel like the in their absence like all these other groups came in and filled in this spot and they could have been really you know cementing themselves as a you know group not to be messed with for the next generation but instead they were nowhere to be found um and it's not even like they were that was intentional like their comebacks were pushed back if i'm not mistaken so sm do better <laughs> do better i guess the fans have to start demanding things because they really don't care at this point um they be doing it right in front of our faces they do not care and i'm a red velvet stan so anyways let's get into this i'm so excited i'm eating these grapes i got these cotton candy grapes from the store and they are so Good. Okay. Let's go. So this is called Welcome to My World featuring Novice. We figure out who Novice is. Karina look good. Now when I saw the teasers, I was like, this is kind of stripped back. Are we kind of like getting away from this? you know, AI image, but it says it's featuring novice. So I feel like where well, this is still their concept, but that was more of like, this is another aspect of their concept, I suppose. This is how I'm feeling. This is what I'm gonna, this is what, this is what I'm saying. I don't care if it's true or not. They look great. This is good. I think this is their first song where they're not like as experimental hyper pop. Okay. I like this. The vocals are oh, you saw that glitch in the simulation. Novice coming. There's a bop. And it's just good. This is good. Okay. I'm sorry, I need to add this to my own. 
and it's giving lore, it's giving concept. Mm -hmm. Let me add this to my Spotify. Okay, strings. Are we hearing some strings? so new as a group it's so fascinating hearing their voices this these shots are very pretty sorry it's fascinating i was distracted it's fascinating hearing their hearing their voices being used in different ways you know i feel like we've heard a lot of ning ning in winter but like not so much of her as karina and giselle because they're not like i know karina's like the leader but i don't know if she's like a lead vocalist I don't know how that works. So I know there's like lead vocalist and then like lead singer or something. You, know, you guys know what I mean. Oh! <gasps> Who does novice look like, guys? So... That was good. Yeah, now where's the other song they have? Let me see this little one. Might as well do a two for one, right? I usually end up talking anyway, so I might as well actually listen to content. This is I'm Unhappy track video. And Esto make good B-sides too. At least, I mean, they've only had one project, but. <laughs> So wait, all the songs that they performed in their concert, are they going to be on this mini? Because I'm scared if they are. Okay, Winter. Actress. These videos are good so far. It's not just like vibes, you know, it's actually giving a storyline. That's Karina. I like her tone. Okay. <laughs> okay, a song with a message. Women's stories matter. They're kind of serving face really bad in this. I was always at like the red pill, like she took another pill. Okay, Winter, she could be a little actress. I mean, they all can, but Winter, I love Ning Ning. Okay, they're all acting a little bit on this. I need them all in a drama ASAP. Oh, that was it. Alright, alright. I was just like gonna literally listen to the whole album since I listened to the second song. I know it's a mini, but I won't do that. I will put it in my album reactions and release it on Monday. I still have to listen to Cheon's album as well. I have a couple of albums to listen to. Mm hmm Yeah. But what did you guys think of that? I really enjoyed that. And I also was like, I'm not going to lie. If they came out with like a hyper pop kind of 
girl crush song concept image whatever I, I would have been bopping but I, I've been saying for a while that I wanted to see like another side to Espa because they are still so uh, new as a group we've only seen one side of them and I want to see all of their talents and SM is known for vocals so I think this gave me everything that I needed mm-hmm SM groups always know how to do like a nice mid-tempo type of track I was revisiting Red Velvet's discography the other day because I was like making a gym workout and I was like oh I need to add some Red Velvet songs and like when I listen to uh, my gym workout it usually is like really energetic songs and you know I put like Dum Dum I put like Zim's Alabim but then I started to get into like Psycho and Bad Boy and Peekaboo and I was like a lot of their songs were just like really smooth and like chillaxed I was realizing that and I feel like that they kind of captured that vibe here and actually on my way home from class just right now before I came home I was listening to Four Walls by FX and that song also kind of has that vibe and I just love when SM does that kind of like sound that's chill and I enjoyed the lyrics of both of them I thought they were both good and yeah I just oh now I want to see them like collaborate with people you know like US artists especially if they're you can still kind of have you feel the like um electro kind of vibe and elements in the songs still which I appreciate because it doesn't make them like too boring but um I would love to see them collaborate with people but I don't even I, I don't even know if that's like a v within a realm of any possibilities <laughs> But seeing them collaborate with like, I don't know, Shy Girl's kind of raunchy, but like not raunchy, but she ha kind of has like explicit lyrics and they're kind of more catered to a younger, not like as grown audience. But does you see something, even like Charlie XCX or Grimes or yeah, I don't know. I want to see them do some, do some collaborations because I saw XG collaborated with Rico Nasty and Sierra. Or maybe that was something else. Um, Sierra collaborated with somebody else. But anyways, I want to see more uh, U.S. collaborations. Like, what happened to them? I wonder why it's they're so far and few U.S. K-pop collaborations. Like, you would think they would happen so much more often than they do. And when they do, it's usually more so between, like, producers. Because they get these American producers to work in their writing camp. Or they, like, take Zara Larson's old rejects or something like that. But, um yeah loved this i'm so excited to listen to the mini i actually really like this i'm not surprised that i did because they really brought it on their first album like i was shook yeah let's just hope sm doesn't like lock them up in the dungeon after this you know like i need them to be i need them to be like actually active too not like doing these random i get they're trying to promote them in the states and make them more popular but i feel like the music will speak for itself like you know what i mean i feel like when you try to like really push these artists to a u.s audience it's just like okay they're gonna like them if they like them and they're gonna like them when they make good music and i feel like they already have all of these fourth gen groups have such huge international fan bases so it's like just focus on making good music more so than in the past years of k-pop when you know they weren't marketing these groups that's why it's a surprise that red velvet has such a huge u.s fan base but um because they're not promoted at all but yeah just let the music speak for itself the audience you already have the audience that you want just don't make them mad by not giving the girls comebacks like that doesn't make sense to me but okay did a good job with the little concert though that was cute that was cute um and they did it was cool that they got them to perform at coachella the one year or whatever but yeah i see them here here and there doing little things i, I see them i want to see more though i want to see them i know they do a little bit like their ambassadors for was it like Givenchy or something i want to see them more active with the brands in the u.s and maybe they are and i'm just not hip to it i know i see like some people go to shows every now and then but i know they're still young too you kind of have to like you know work your way up but yeah let's let's really promote them you know come on sm talking to you but yeah let me know what you guys think um about these tracks
I love them. They're gonna go down as one of my favorite Espa tracks. I just know it. And since this is a mini album, I hope that we get to see them again. Ugh. <laughs> like, why do I even have to say this? Like, it would be cute if we got this, we got a single for the summer, like just being hopeful. A summer single, because I would love to see Espa in a summer comeback. Anybody in a summer comeback at this point, please, I'm begging. And then, <laughs> um, maybe wrap it all up in a full album in the fall give us like a really like dark kind of concept and then give us a full album with like the summer track the new dark concept song like two new songs Cause i want a full album sorry i got really serious but i want a full album and like maybe an english version of another song right so i know how they love to do that remix I'm like i'm not taking these remixes anymore give me an english version okay all right let me know what you guys think and thanks for watching liking and subscribing and i'll catch you next time